today we are going behind closed doors. Up next, we're going inside a couple of our viewers' home. These two have decorated their whole home with tips that range anywhere from 20 bucks to a couple of hundred bucks. So let's take a tour, check it out. Hey there, we are John and Sherry Petersick from the blog Young House Love. Yep, we started it 10 years ago, back when we had hardly any money, we lived in a tiny house, and we decided to figure out how to make it nice. And now 10 years later, we live in our third house, we're making it over top to bottom, and we thought it would be fun to give you guys a tour. So one of our favorite super budget friendly ways to dress up any space is to add some architecture through molding. One is down here on the bottom. We did this sort of board and bat and wainscoting. And it was just some basic boards from the home improvement store, plus some decorative moldings that we made in kind of a picture frame. Painted the whole thing white and it looks like architecture that's been here for decades. These are some built-in bookcases that we made as part of our big kitchen renovation. And it was actually a lot easier than it looked because we used a little cheap. These are just dock base cabinets from the home improvement store that we painted to match and then built some shelves on top. So now we're over on the other side of the living room and this wall was dark reddish brown. It made the whole room feel like a cave. So we lightened it up with whitewashing. All you do is just buy a can of paint, 20 bucks for this whole thing, and you fill a container half with that paint, half with water. And to save some money on this wall, instead of buying more cabinets, we just did some simple open shelves. We got some reclaimed lumber, some brackets we found online, and we always love open shelves in the kitchen. I know some people think like everything's gonna get dusty and gross, but as long as you're using items up here fairly frequently, then it's not a problem. So this is a bathroom that I'm standing in, and it actually had carpeting on it when we bought it. So we ripped off the carpeting, and what was under it was this plywood subfloor. We just rolled on a light taupe color, bought two cans of paint, so the second color was this deep chocolate one, and just used a stencil. And the whole project, including the stencil, maybe cost us around 60 bucks. So we're actually in our daughter's closet, and it's a really fun, biggish closet you wanted to use to play. So to add something playful to the back wall, we bought a bunch of yards of this fabric, and then we just stapled it using a staple gun around the edge and used a little bit of ribbon to cover the staples. This room was funny because it wasn't until Sherry found this rug here at the consignment store that the room kind of clicked. We made simple bedding, simple headboard, and just a nice basic painting on the wall so that the busyness of the rug was not competing with anything else in here. So finally it feels like kind of this restful space that we can come back to every day. So we hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Yeah, we'll see you soon with more tips. Bye. Bye. Tips you guys. Oh, thank, you. thank you for coming out.